Bishop was in Colville as neighbors in the small town paid their respects. A world away from the war zone in Afghanistan. We're just on Highway 395 north of Spokane. The heartache of conflict. He was a big man with a big heart. A soldier's sacrifice hits home. It's hard. It hurts. We want them all to come home. 28-year-old Sergeant First Class Wyatt Goldsmith, a Green Beret with Special Forces, died July 15th from injuries he received when insurgents attacked his unit. It was his third deployment. He gave the ultimate sacrifice um, willingly. He wasn't drafted. He volunteered. This afternoon, a plane carrying his remains in a flag-draped casket touched down on American soil, his family never leaving his side. 30 miles away, his hometown prepares to welcome him home. It's our duty to honor this fallen hero. Four-year-old Ethan and two-year-old Christian, too young to know the reality of war. They need to understand what a real hero is. They need to understand uh, what it means to be an American and what it means to sacrifice for your country. A quarter to three, with horses leading the way. Sergeant First Class Wyatt Goldsmith is finally home. To Wyatt's family, we love you and we hurt with you. Goldsmith's funeral is now set for one o'clock on Tuesday at the local Catholic church here in Colville with a reception to follow at the Ag Trade Center. In Colville, Annie Bishop, KXLY4 HD News.